Hi. Um, what does that say about how much United have improved in the last Oh, we improved. <laughs> that's that's obvious. Still a long way to go, a long path to go. A lot of um, aspects in our game we have to improve, but yeah, we we progressing, and that's quite obvious. Sam, uh, you said in your interview on Thursday you made quite an interesting point about Marcus Rashford. You were asked if he was going to come off, and you said, "Well, he has to learn to deal with the the pain sometimes that you get as a top player." Is that what he did today? I don't think I said he has to learn with, with it. I think he learned already huh? and he knows how to deal. He knows that in top football uh, you have to suffer, you have to sacrifice, uh, you have your painful moments, um, uh, especially a player like he is. Uh, he's unstoppable and um, opponents will go tough against him uh, to, to, to stop him. Uh, but yeah, you have to deal with it, and I think he's capable of it. Uh, he keeps investing, he keeps going, he keeps focusing uh, for his chances, and in the end, he got, got rewarded, and the team got uh, got a reward. Harry, can you talk us through that moment when you about to send on Martinez and McTominay, and then United scored those two goals? What, what were you thinking there, and how did United come back from this match? Yeah, of course, you always think about uh, when, when how you can change the game. And uh, after half time, I think we didn't come out well. We can also say that City changed something that gives us problems. We struggled in the game. And then you analyze the game and you try to get back the control of the first half. Because I think the, the first half, we, we played really well, brilliant. It was so good defending, organization, tactical. Um, they, they did so well, the team, so proactive from a good block. And then in the break, we create good opportunities and chances. For instance, Marcus Westford, the one against one. And I think, yeah, uh, I had the feeling in the half time we should have, uh, have have lead in this game. But then after half time, the team, the, the game was totally different. We didn't get the press on. The Rory was too much on the ball. Uh, Walker was too much inside, and we didn't get the control there. So you try to 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 change that. And it's the same when you are you are down. You try to change the game. And at first we did it with, with Carnaccio bringing on, but then also in the end to bring the energy with uh, with Scott, hopefully hoping on more penetration. And I would change also to bring in um, Martinez, bringing building up, and also then Shaw to the left side, hopefully that we could more in the wide areas pe penetrate as well. That was the idea, but it wasn't necessary because we scored in that uh, in the right moment. Well. Uh, Eric, a few months ago, uh, people might have said, oh, might have thought it was impossible for United come back against City in that way and we come from behind. Is that part of the improvement you're talking about as well? Do you think the resolve of the team has changed or the mentality? I think we often talk about, in, um, about teams developing, we talking about tactics or uh, tactics progressing. But one of the, uh, the main um, jobs from a manager, from a coaching staff is to work on the mentality of a team. And this mentality is, has a lot of elements, but one of them is resilient and determination. I think um, that this team is, is progressing a lot in those facts, eh? uh, dealing with setbacks, dealing with suffering and, and uh, painful moments um, and uh, keep going after, after setbacks like a goal against. Um, uh, I think we have also players on the pitch who have the experience. They know that in one moment games can change. And I think yeah, we are much better capable to deal with such situations as a couple months ago. Jeremy. Fans may dream, but we not. Uh, we have to keep uh, our feet on the ground uh, and then uh, face that uh, in our um, game uh, has a lot to improve and still a lot to improve. Uh, it can't happen that after half time we'll be losing so much control in the game, for instance, and then getting down is unnecessary. Uh, when we do the right things, when we follow the right rules, when we st step up from the back in an earlier moment, uh, we can control such moment and doing the same as the first half. But yeah, that's also top football. 
uh, small deep, uh, details has a big impact, and we have to keep working on that and keep investing in that. Uh, we're now going to move on to our pre-match press conference.